Hello dear friends, this is lesson 13 of CCNA 200-301 course and now it's time to lab manual for spanning tree protocol that I taught in previous lesson its concept. Let's go. This image as same as the previous video and uh, we will learn how we can configure STP. Electing root switch automatically check STP all operation, defining a switch as root manually, setting up secondary root switch or setting up priority number of switch, setting up cost for interface, setting up priority number for ports and check all STP operation again. Well, this is GNS3 software that teaches how to install and use this software in dedicated video in my YouTube channel titled New to GNS3 Start Here. You can uh, see uh, this video I taught uh, in my YouTube channel and I recommend, I really recommend to see that uh, to full uh, understand how this uh, GNS3 will be installed and how you can configure that. Why, uh, but why did I choose this software to practice this lesson instead of Cisco Packet Tracer? Cisco Packet Tracer tool doesn't have some commands uh, in it and it is incomplete. But GNS3 runs the operating system or iOS of Cisco switches and routers and many uh, other uh, vendors such as Juniper and so on uh, exactly for you and has no defects. Well, first, uh, when uh, GNS3 runs, it uh, asks you uh, to define the project. I uh, overwrite that, okay. And for uh, for uh, configuring uh, STP because the, the GNS3 the GNS3's uh, layer two switches, uh, it is uh, not possible to configure by command line. For example, such as this, uh, such as this one. For example, see you please. And uh, when I right click on that, I can uh, enter to configure. Just I want to uh, select and define port and its uh, type, access or trunk and um, assigned port, uh, assigned VLAN. Okay, I, uh, I don't want to select layer two switch. I, I prefer to select Cisco uh, 3600 model router that I added before its uh, iOS. Uh, you can see that video uh, for new to GNS3. And now, I should select and define its name and right click and change symbol. And after change symbol, I can change it to the uh, Cisco switch symbol. Okay, I uh, select classic and select multi layer switch, for example, or I can select Ethernet switch. This is better well and right click again configure and it slots tab if you need uh, switching uh, switch ports and uh, you need perform this router uh, act as a switch uh, you can select nm16 esw to give you 16 ports for switch and make this device as switch for example uh, I have, uh, I added uh, two NM16 ESW, okay, and again, and again, we need three, like this, we need three switches. Let me ch uh, change its uh, symbol and ports and slots. Okay, let me connect these switches together on SW1. I want to connect fast Ethernet uh, one slash zero 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 slash one the fast Ethernet uh, of router chases. Okay, uh, I need to start from fast Ethernet zero one or two uh, one one slash zero or two slash zero one slash zero from uh, one slash one. Let me one slash one to one slash two and one slash three to one slash three of this switch and one slash one to one slash one between two switches well so let me put the node 
one slash one slash one and one slash two one slash two one slash two and this three is one slash one and keep uh, keep a state this uh, mouse one slash three to one slash three one slash three and one slash three another one and one slash one for these two ports connected together well one slash one and one slash one then i need to start all switches right click and start right click and start right click and start and wait some seconds uh, to start uh, completely and successfully okay right click on the first switch and select console okay i changed its phones and now show a spanning tree as the first uh, command show a spanning tree i uh, i uh, i did say uh, for you that spanning tree uh, performs per vlan so uh, this is uh, tell us the vlan one is executing and it's uh, it's uh, default uh, default to a vlan and port one slash three port one slash three uh, for number 44 port of vlan one is forwarding state now is in forwarding state and priority uh, the po the cost port is uh, 19 and the port priority number is 128 port priority number this is not the switch pr uh, priority number uh, they are different and port identifier and uh, um, root uh, root uh, priority number 32768 and add mac address and so on well but i recommend you before uh, configuring and uh, showing any information uh, to uh, turn on the debug spine tree events debug to see uh, what happens in a spine tree debug spanning tree events now show spanning tree vlan one show spanning tree vlan one in vlan one the port is one slash one is in forwarding state well that is vlan uh, one slash one is this port this port and one slash three also is forwarding state and uh, both costs are 19 and port priorities and so on let me check another switch sw2 right click and console and change its uh, phone appearance and 16 the port debug a spanning tree events will show a spanning tree vlan one this is sw2 this this switch and what about the ports vlan one is default vlan and uh, zero is slash uh, port number uh, fastened one slash one in two sw3 is in forwarding state and slash one slash two into sw1 is in forwarding state and what about sw3 council change its setting for port Well, check this one. Spanning tree debug, sorry, debug. Spanning tree events. Show spanning tree VLAN 1. What about this port? Okay, that's all. 
fast return zero slash uh, one slash one sorry on sw3 one slash one from sw3 into sw2 is in blocking state so this port is blocked by spine tree operation correctly well one of uh, these two switches are uh, root switch but uh, because the, uh, this switch, uh, one port of this switch is blocked, it is not root switch, okay? And uh, I think one slash three, the fast return one slash three port that connected to a sub u one, this is, uh, this uh, has uh, become uh, root port. I think SW1 is root. How uh, we can uh, find the root switch in our configuration stp let me check sw1 by command show spanning tree root show spanning tree root root priority is the uh, number is 32 768 and mac address are uh, cc started by cc01 and ended by quad zero well what about our MAC address on SW1? SW1 MAC address is here. SW1 MAC address is here. Now, because my MAC address is root on SW1, so SW1 is root switch. I found that SW1 is root switch. This is the first item we did know about that. But what about the uh, root priority? For example, I want to start this command, uh, perform this command on SW2, show spine tree root priority, root priority for VLAN 1 is this. If uh, these switches has uh, many VLANs, for example, maybe these switches has uh, four VLANs, uh, each, for each VLAN maybe one uh, maybe one root uh, root switch uh, on occurs and presents. For example, maybe on this, uh, on you know, VLAN one SW one is root switch or be a root switch, and for VLAN three maybe SW two be uh, be its root switch. Okay, the spine tree performs per VLAN. Keep in mind this important item. And uh, what about choice spanning tree block port? What about the block ports? I don't know any information about block ports. For example, on SW3, that uh, fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 is blocked. I need to perform and implement this command show spanning tree, show spanning tree blocked ports. This tell us the fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 is blocked and it's uh, assigned to VLAN 1. Okay. And uh, what about uh, in the spine tree uh, specific, uh, in the interface specific uh, commands that show, um, uh, that show us um, more important data about specific interfaces that uh, works uh, around the uh, STP. Show spanning tree, show spanning tree interfaces your, or interface fast Ethernet one slash one. What is one slash one? One slash one goes to SW2. It, uh, this command tells us more important information about this interface that connected to the another non root switch. And uh, this is uh, in forwarding state, cost, po uh, cost numbers, priority numbers, and uh, MAC address, and many information about that. What about the root per VLAN? How we can uh, know uh, root per VLAN? Show a spine tree for VLAN 1 root. This command tells us which, which switch is the root switch for VLAN 1. The root uh, switch is the switch with priority number of this, MAC address of this, and cost uh, port uh, and, uh, for, uh, as this, and port uh, connected to root switch 1 slash 2. The port, uh, I am in SW2, and this command tells me that's I, SW2, 
I connected to the root switch by fast Ethernet 1 slash 2 port. And this is hello time. I will describe about the hello time message and forward delay in next video. Okay, no problem. And uh, let me check how we can uh, select the uh, root switch manually. Now, in this uh, scenario, now uh, at the time, SW1 is root switch. Okay. I want to change root switch into SW2 manually. Maybe, for example, uh, our servers uh, connected to SW2 and we want all traffic uh, pass through SW2 to uh, uh, reach the, to the servers and uh, this the SW2 must be our root switch per our need or, or per our uh, favorite for configuration. Configure terminal, global config, and a spanning tree, VLAN1 root primary. With this command, this SW2 will change into root switch. Look at spanning tree events. Look at here, VLAN1, uh, VLAN1 we are the spanning tree root, and VLAN1 topology uh, change received on fast internet 0 slash uh, one slash one, sorry, and look at SW1. What happens that? Oh, yes, VLAN one heard root this on fast internet one slash three. Current root has this MAC address and suspends, and current root change to this one on port fast internet one slash three. And now we have new root switch on port. Uh, fast internet one slash one cost 19. Now, now if on SW2, I'm on SW2 and and show a spanning tree root CC02 and this Mac and show a spanning tree this Mac, this Mac address. Because my MAC address is known as root uh, switch MAC address, now it means uh, I, uh, my uh, SW2 switch or I am root now. And uh, what about the black ports? Let me uh, check black ports. Which port on, uh, on which switch blocked? On SW1, let me check show spanning tree blocked ports. No, no one here. And SW3, what about? Show a spanning tree blocked ports. Fast Ethernet 1 slash 3 blocked into, uh, from SW3 into SW1 blocked. And this is root port for SW3. This is root port for SW1. And uh, this port is blocked from SW3 into SW1. Okay. Uh, and Another item, uh, how we can configure priority number for each switch. For example, on SW1, configure terminal and spanning tree, VLAN1, priority. With this command, I can change the switch priority number. Priority between 0 to 65535. For example, uh, for the 96 and change received we are the spanning tree root and sw1 what happened on sw2 on sw2 vlan new root is here and show it's fine three root three eight six eight three eight six eight show is fine three no the root is changed into SW one and SW three also uh, changed the blocking into learning and forwarding state. Again, the root port is changed. Show spanning tree blocked ports. Fast Ethernet 1 slash 1 is blocked now because 
uh, I changed the priority number of uh, SW1 on VLAN1. Uh, it, uh, it changed, uh, SW1 changed into root switch and this port is root port now from SW3 to SW1. Show spine tree root port. One slash three is root port. Keep in mind, dear friends, I will put uh, lab manual uh, document uh, download link in my uh, in, in this video's description. Uh, please download that, and uh, with that you can uh, practice easily. And all commands are integrated into one document, and you can use that. And what about uh, configuring the cost port? How we can configure the cost port? Show spine three blocked ports. No blocked port, okay. And in global config, I can uh, use a spanning tree, VLAN one, cost for VLAN, VLAN one. Oh, sorry, interface. Interface, what is interface on SW2? One slash two, for example, one slash uh, two. Interface fast internet one slash two, a spanning tree. VLAN one cost one. With this command, we can uh, change the cost port for each port if you if we want. And for configuring port priority, maybe some, maybe for example, SW2 have uh, has three uh, ways or three ports connected to another switches, and we want to set priority for port uh, for each port to changing its uh, root port and changing uh, its uh, priority for achieving to the uh, root switch. With this command, I can change that. For example. Uh, a spanning tree, a spanning tree, VLAN 1, port priority, for example, 16, and let me perform on SW3. What about blocked ports? Configure terminal, interface, fast Ethernet. Zero, uh, one slash one, spanning tree, VLAN one, port prior, port uh, dash priority, VLAN one, sorry, port priority, 16, and, okay, because uh, the switch is changed manually, it, uh, it does uh, affect any items after changing the uh, v, uh, port priority. Some commands such as changing the, the hello settings for STP or activating the BPDU guard and some other uh, items remain. Uh, let me complete the STP topics in the next video and we will return to, uh, to the lab again and we'll practice all remains item. Okay, see you in next video. Have a nice time.